sunshines. Welcome back and thanks for popping in. I am so glad you're here. I've been in and out of my office today. I've been editing. I filmed a reel. I've been kind of cleaning up and my desk stash box came in the mail. I thought, well, you're in your office. What a better place to open it than here. Um, originally, I meant to make this office my filming space. And honestly, even with all the Hollywood lights that I have, I just can't get the lighting right. I don't know if it's because this room is so small or there's a window over here if I'm getting like indirect light and I can't set up the camera facing the window. It's just the way that the office is set up. Anyway, um, but I thought today, since I have the office box, I would just go ahead and film it here. But I grabbed a couple of others that I thought would be fun too. And we'll just do like a mini unboxing palooza. I love those and I know you guys do too. So Desk Stash has not been on my channel since I think spring of 2022. I always have to rotate boxes on and off. I really do love this box though. So when they reached out and asked me if I'd like to open the winter box, I said yes. So this is a quarterly office supply subscription box but it's not like your average like yellow post-it notes and basic paper clips it's really unique office supplies so whether you're in a cubicle and just want your cubicle to stand out with some cute supplies or you are in your home office and just want to jazz it up a little bit it's going to be for you what i like about desk stash is it's kind of unisex it can be for male or female and you typically get five to seven items we've receive things that actually came out of the Museum of Modern Art. So things that are not only useful, but also fun and beautiful too. It is $45 a quarter. And if after watching this, you decide you want to jump on the desk stash train, I have a discount code for 15% off, which I will link down below. That is a referral link, just FYI. So it helps out the channel. Um, it comes in a mailer like this. I haven't even pulled it out. Oh, there's a couple of things a box so here it is very cute with all the cute office supplies and then i guess this wouldn't fit in the box but i like how it's color coordinated so we'll go ahead and check that out as i'm opening it i did want to say if you are stopping by for the first time or you haven't hit that subscribe button i'd love to have you as part of my georgia sunshine family we do unboxings and clothing hauls and all kinds of interesting things over here. All right, so when you open up the box, it looks like this. Let me grab my glasses here. And I think it shows, hmm, oh, there's two cards. So this one um, just tells you basically about what I've already told you. And then it looks like in this box, we are going to get six items for a value of $68. So I'm going to go with this one first since I'm intrigued by what it is. It's called a forget-me-not. Hold on. It's wrapped in this plastic that's kind of clingy. There we go. Forget-me-not. It's got like a handle on the back. Is this maybe for a door? I don't know. Hangs conveniently on your doorknob to store important items that you don't want to forget. Pockets, strap, and hook hold mail, phone, keys, shopping lists, magazines, sunglasses, and so much more. What a good idea. So you can put this if you're trying to get out the door, but you know you need to run a few errands, you need a receipt to return, you need your grocery list. You can just start stashing everything in here at the back door. That's very, very clever. And then you can put your mail back here. How neat is that? Okay, let's see what it says about that. The forget-me-not organizer. This faux leather door organizer hangs on the doorknob at Ernie at reception's apartment. So he remembers to bring coffee for our morning focus group. He keeps his bicycle keys on its lobster clasp and his $5 sunglasses is one of the pockets so he's never caught without them. That is a really actually clever idea because you can hang it on the door put all your stuff and then as you go to leave just put it in the front seat of your car i like that okay the next thing we have is called ooh, the perfect phone stand well i'll be the judge of that it looks really cool it looks like it maybe has a compartment here so you can put your airpods 
and things if you need that. Okay, so it says this is the perfect phone stand direct from the Museum of Modern Art Design Store in New York City comes the simple yet functional perfect phone stand. It safely holds Ernie at reception smartphone or tablet so he can play Candy Crush while waiting for his lunch to arrive. The sturdy base is also a tray for holding mints and change for the parking meter. How adorable. That is so useful. If you like to like watch something while you're putting on your makeup or maybe you're watching like a recipe tutorial um, online and you're trying to cook at the same time without holding it, you've got this handy dandy phone holder. Let's see how easy it is put together. Yeah, cute. And then it's got the little tray. All right, love that. Uh, it is kind of perfect if I have to admit. All right, the next thing in here, I'm gonna dig down to the bottom. We have this really cute journal and it's got all these really fun, I don't know, I'm going to call them architect handyman tools in the front. Very cool. All right. So it says while I'm opening it, the vintage office journal. This journal features vintage office supplies on the cover and inside a wild assortment of paper styles. Ernie at reception says that the pockets and manila envelope are perfect for collecting notes and the phone numbers of women with questionable morals. <laughs> He's met at his favorite dive bars. I want to meet Ernie at reception. How about you guys? I feel like desk stash needs to put him on Instagram or something, or I would love to interview him in the next desk stash video. How hysterical. Oh my gosh, this is kind of like a junk journal. I've talked about that a few times on my channel. Um, so it's just got a nameplate and then it's got like envelopes, pockets, I guess, all throughout it. And then different pages like this one's scalloped. This would be the cutest junk journal ever. It's got like a dot grid paper here. Okay, is the camera picking it up? I'm telling you, the lighting in here I am acknowledging is not good. It's got lined paper. How clever is this? And there's a lot, there's just a brown page. So if you're into junk journaling, I think this would be fun. But if you just like an interesting journal like me, I take notes all the time for videos. This is adorable. Okay. They did a good job with this one. All right, the next one is an air press pen, I'm assuming. Yeah, it says even works upside down or on wet paper. All righty, let's see. It says the air press ballpoint pen. Ernie at reception is a bit accident prone and swears by these. He has more than once baptized his desktop with kombucha tea, but it's okay because not only can this pen write on wet paper, but it also writes in zero gravity situations because we're all in those situations like every day, right? Um, handy <laughs> the next time you find yourself 52 miles west of Venus. I love that this box has such a sense of humor too. This is really neat. Let me see if I can pull it out because it's got like this really cool, like almost like pin clip that you can put, I mean, in your pocket if you're a person that wears your pocket, but it probably would fit on in that journal. Like if you wanted to attach your pin to your journal, that's kind of clever. Love that. It's refillable. And this one has black ink. I'm loving this box. All right. And I also like this box because the paper is not so shredded that you can't just pick it up and um, put it in the trash bin. I always save these in a large gallon size bag. And then when I'm shipping things for Valentine's Day, birthdays or whatever, because this stuff is expensive, I recycle it. All right. The next thing is a packing tape. Oh, this is stinking cute. Okay. Okay. It says, handle with care tape. We dig the retro products that get sent our way. When we found this incredibly sticky packing tape, we knew it was a good fit. As these charming graphics look like they were created in the 1920s, the spool of tape is much livelier than that priority mail tape Ernie at reception picked up from the post office. Poor Ernie, nobody loves what he does. All right, let's see. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so fun. How adorable. There's an umbrella. I saw it somewhere with raindrops. 
So they say it's really sticky. So the next time you have to send back a package, this has glass. How fun. It's a little bit different than your classic like clear tape and you get quite a bit of it. Okay, fun and useful. I think we have one more thing in here. All right, this says sardines memo tabs. I think they're like page flags. Look how pretty they are though. Those little fish are gorgeous. All right, it says that those are the sardines fish tails memo tabs. These fishy shaped memo tabs help Ernie at reception stay abreast of his many responsibilities. They can also be used to provide subtle demands, but in a friendly manner. Please remember to make the bank deposit. Our livelihoods depend on it, for example. Okay, I gotta say, I love this box. We got the air press pen, which was so interesting. The fishy memo tabs, the handle with the care tape, the perfect phone stand, the vintage office journal, as well as the forget me not organizer. Good job, desk stash. So again, if you want to try this box, you can use my code that's going to give you 15% off your first box. And once again, thank you to desk stash for sending that over. All right, the next box I have is one that I have slowly fallen in love with. This is book of the month. Now, book of the month is a book that you get every month. There's typically about seven different books you can choose from. You pay $16.99 a month and you, at the beginning of the month, pick out the book that you want and then off it comes. If you choose to get other books, you're able to do that at a discounted rate. What I like about book of the month is if you are like, man, I don't really like any of the seven books that actually happened to me in December. Um, and I also knew in December I wasn't going to be reading a lot. You can skip a month, which is exactly what I did in December. But as much as I wasn't like drawn to any of the books in December, probably five of the seven I wanted. And I ended up getting three of them because I could not decide which one I wanted. Now, I just got an email from Book of the Month saying that they are now doing audiobooks. So you will download their app. I believe right now it is only available for Apple or iOS. It's not available for Android yet. They are still working on it. But if you like audiobooks, this would be a great subscription to have. I know when I do book boxes, so many people ask about that. Um, and so that's new. And you just would listen on the app. You just download the book of the month app and there's a little button at the bottom that says listen. I do have a discount code to get your first box for only $9.99 if you're interested. Let's see what books I picked out. This says the queen of thieves. There can only be one. I think this took place in World War II. Yeah, London, 1946. The city struggles to rebuild itself after the devastation of the Blitz. Alice Diamond, the Queen of Thieves, rules over all the female gang with a bejeweled fist. Her hoisters are expected to shoplift, scouring London's upscale boutiques and department stores, but their lucrative business always carries the threat of violence. Alice has been known to use her heavy rows of diamond rings like brass knuckles. Nell is a teenager from the slums hiding a pregnancy and facing a desperately uncertain future when Alice takes her under her wing. Soon Nell is experiencing all the dangers and glamorous trappings of this underworld existence. Alice wants Nell to be a useful weapon but Nell has a hidden agenda and shouldn't be underestimated. As Nell embraces the spoils of crime and the seedy underbelly of London, will she manage to carve out her own path to power and riches might she even crown herself the queen of thieves that looked really good then i grabbed this one this is called the age of vice looks like this this is a big guy and this one says new delhi 3 a.m a speeding mercedes jumps the curve and in the blink of an eye curb i said curve it jumped the curb <laughs> In the blink of an eye, five people are dead. It's a rich man's car, but when the dust settles, there is no rich man at all. Just a shell-shocked servant who cannot explain the strange series of events that has led to the crime. Nor can he foresee the dark drama that is about to unfold, deftly shifting through time and um, perspective. In contemporary India, Age of Vice is an epic, action-packed story compelled by the seductive wealth 
startling corruption and bloodthirsty violence of the Wadia family, loved by some, loathed by others, feared by all. Now, that's not all of the description of it, but for the length of the video, I just thought I'd give you a little bit. And then the last one I had to do was kind of the chiclet. This one's called Lunar Love, and it says Olivia Hung Christensen is excited slash terrified to be taking over her grandmother's matchmaking business. But when she learns that a new dating app has made her Popo's traditional Chinese Zodiac approach all about animal attraction, her emotion skews towards furious slash outraged, especially when LA's most eligible bachelor, Bennett O'Brien, is behind the app that could destroy her family's legacy. Liv knows better than to fall for any guy, let alone an infuriatingly handsome one that believes that traditions are meant to be broken. So those were the three books that I chose for January. Again, if you want to try um, book of the month, either getting books or getting um, listening to it in audio, you could use uh, my discount code to get your first book for $9.99. I do pay for this box with my own money happily. Okay, and then the last one, I wasn't going to show this very often on the channel, but I showed it in December and I had a lot of people who were intrigued by it and said please show it again. So this is Planner Envy. I'm a girl who likes her planner. I like it with colorful pins written inside of it and lots of stickers and interest. Um, it's my creative outlet basically and um, when I repurchased my Erin Condren this year I knew that I wanted to go back to using some of the stickers. So I resubscribed. Again I pay for this one with my own money. It starts at just $26.50. It gives you like 10 plus pages of stickers plus two to three like accessories and then you could add um, washi tape for an extra $10 or you can add a second set of washi tape for $20. Um, this is an Etsy shop which I appreciate supporting a small business. So because I had people interested and asked to show it again, I just decided that I would. I don't have a discount code, unfortunately, for this box, but I will link it down below. So we got a fun pin and we got a really cute pin last month too kind of pink and glittery. I love it. This one's more beautiful than that like air pin that we got in desk stash, but I gotta say they both have a place in my heart. Pretty. Okay, then we got sit me baby one more time. <laughs> So we got a big journal clip here. These look really cute sticking out of the top of your planner. So, so cute. I got some washi tape. Here's my set. I pay for the double set of washi tape. I was going to unsubscribe and only get one set, but I forgot to do it. So we get all the washi tape this time. All right. So it's all like floral this time. Really pretty. Kind of looks like birds, doesn't it? Almost, but it's flowers. I'll show you these three. We get different like um, widths of washi tape. It's kind of pink and green. And then these are a little bit like more romantic and neutral. Really beautiful. Okay, then we got a little The Week of Big Plans. Oh, this is cute. A little notepad. I love a notepad with a checkbox. This says make it happen. Then you can check everything off. I'm very driven by a to-do list. When I can knock something off of it, it makes me so accomplished. I know that's so silly. Um, I've tried this week actually to do it on my notes app of my phone and delete it when I do it. It's just not as satisfactory to me as crossing it off. So I'm going to go back to a list pad. So this is perfect. All right. And then here are my stickers. Okay. So there's three packs in here and all of these stickers should do four weeks of spreads in a planner. I did, um, I do plan to show you my planner at some point, maybe on an Instagram reel or a YouTube short. So this is the first set. And these just take up a whole box if you don't have anything. Because an Erin Condren or the one that I get has like morning, afternoon, evening. So if my afternoon is quiet or my evening is quiet, you can just put a pretty sticker. Here's kind of to-dos. If you want to um, make little check boxes of things to do, those are great. I love the floral pattern of this. Isn't that beautiful? The pink and black. All right. Then we have this one. 
I love this weekend sticker, kind of a banner. These are big, long stickers you can put at the bottom. This color palette is really pretty. And then they have this week, and I really like Planner Envy because they always give you like meal planning. Meal planning really helps me um, to kind of stay on track. And so I put this on the side of my planner and put all the meals just usually for dinner. So that was one set. And again, all of these kind of coordinate together so you can make four different spreads. Okay, here's the next one. This is adorable. Hold on, they're sticking together here. Looks like this. It's got like little journals and notebook. I like the hot pink and black, the polka dot of it all here. I like that they both are kind of pink and black, but this one's got the gold through it. So it still makes each week distinctive. And then, oh, look at this one. Oh my goodness, with the like office supplies, the scissors and things, there's a planner, adorable. Here's all the check boxes. All right, and then we have one more. Now this set looks like it might be the Valentine's set. If you just wanna get like one set without the um, subscription, I think you can go in and buy just separate um, spreads. Oh my gosh, this is really cute too. Look at this heart rainbow. I think that's my favorite. Oh no, is that a bird? No, just little hearts. There's like hot chocolate or coffee. And then this one's the more functional stickers. So you can do lists of things you need to get done. Like if you wanna do one day that's just like what I need to get done for work or what I need to do for cleaning, you can stick this down like your morning, one of these check boxes, and then do like things you need to clean or errands you need to, um, to go out and do goals for the week. There's like even bill payment reminders. Um, there's lots of things that remind you of people's birthdays and things. So just a really fun subscription. So those were my three uh, boxes. I really like Death Stash. I really like those book boxes. Y'all, I've made it a goal in 2023 to read at least 52 books. And we're going to see if that happens. And then I absolutely love the Planner Envy. It's kind of my subscription, my gift to myself every month, and I really enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that subscription button before you leave. I'd love to have you as part of my Georgia Sunshine family, and I'll see you soon for another video, guys. Bye-bye.